Hello everyone, welcome back to Developers and Coders Club of NIT Gartala. So today we will be discussing Educational Code Forces Round 152's Problem Statement D, which is Array Painting. So uh, let me explain the question first. So uh, I guess you have read the question. Let me explain it in whiteboard. So what we have to do, we will be given an array. Okay. So it will be colored with some color. Uh, initially it will be colored blue. Okay. So all these array will be elements will be blue. Okay. Now uh, we will be uh, given some numbers into this array. It will be 0, 1 or 2. Let's suppose 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. Okay. Something like this. So what we can do, we have to paint all these array into blue. There are two conditions to paint this. The first condition, condition is that uh, I will take any index and I will paint it red and then I will pay one point I mean, uh, the payment will be plus one okay it will increase by one and again I can uh, paint all the array elements by this but one more condition is given that I can paint another portion also like if I have one red here you can see it's red this portion became red why uh, I have uh, given one coin and I have painted this with red okay and here I had one so what I can do is I can decrease it from 1 to 0 and then I can paint any adjacent index of it like I can paint either this or this okay so I have two choices similarly uh, suppose if I paint this then I will be having again two choices here its value is 2 so I can paint the both these because I have two, I will decrease one and I will print this, I will decrease one. So uh, the cost uh, of coins will be two, only two for painting these three subarrays, these three indexes. So uh, what we have to do, we will be given something like this and we have to find the minimum number of coins which uh, we pay in order to get a uh, whole array painted blue. Okay. So what is the, the basic approach okay let me simply explain you the approach you will uh, get it very easily because it's very easy question if you understand it okay so here you can see uh, either a box uh, on e every index let's suppose this if it is red then it can do two things either it can color this or this or it can color both but uh, if its value is 1 then it can color either this portion or this portion and if its value is 2 then it can color both portion so if I have uh, any uh, index 2 then we don't have to think anything we will just paint this index and we will uh, cut these two and we will say that we have painted all these three okay if we got 1 then we have to choose which one we have to color either th this one or this one so how will we choose like and there may be condition something like this here and something like this so if I will uh, paint this 0 this index with this one and then with this index with this uh, with this one we can't paint any index because this has already been painted by this one so these three will be of no use and for this I again have to pay one coin so how many coins total I have to pay for this one plus one plus one total three coins but we can do one more thing with this we can paint this one like zero one zero one with this I will paint this with red and then I will paint one more with this okay and I will paint this red and I will paint this so in two coins I can get my answer so now how will we solve okay you can see one more thing if there is any chain of integers something like this if I have 1 2 1 2 1 1 1 2 1 2 something like this and 0 0 0 something 0 0 0 then you can observe we can paint all these how will we paint we will paint this and with the help of this I will paint this with the help of this I can paint this with the help of this I can paint this and similarly I can paint this and at last I can paint one okay so this is one case but you can see if I start from here see this is very 
tricky to understand. Let's suppose I have something like this. One, 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 one. Okay. I I will color all these uh, with the help of only one point. Okay. And then I will color one more zero. Either this or this. If I will start from here, then I I will end up here, and I will color one zero. If I start from here, I will end up here. Now it's my choice which one I wanna I wanna color. And one more thing is there. If there is any two, let's suppose I have one two. Okay. Then let's not do do this. Let's make another condition. One 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 two one 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 one. Okay. So you can observe if I will start from here, then I can go here, here, and similarly I will reach here, and I can color this zero, and uh, one uh, another will also be left because it's two. So I can color this side also, and according to that I will reach here also. So if the sequence of sub array contains all the elements greater than zero, and if I if I have any single integer which have value greater than two, then we can color both sides. But if I don't have any integer which is greater than two, which means that the maximum of this subarray, if it's one, then we can't color both sides. Then we have to choose which one we wanna color. Okay. So it is very basic and simple question. So how will we do? We will just start iterating and we'll we will keep index like uh, we we will traverse all this. And then we will uh, check uh, if we can color this or this. If this one is already colored, then we will color this. And if it's not colored, then we will color this. Okay. Let's see how we will do. Let's see the test case. Sorry. So in this case, uh, what I will do? It's zero to zero. Let me do it first. So it is zero to zero. Zero to zero. What I will do? I will come here. I will do nothing. I will come here. Here, what I will do? Simply, I saw uh, this whole sequence. It's it's of only one. The size of this sequence is only one. But uh, this, uh, let's see what we can do. So it's we found two is the maximum element in this. So we can color both sides. So with the help of this, I will color this and this. So in one coin only, I can color my array. Okay, now let's see another case. Let's take this last one. Zero one zero zero zero. Okay, so it is zero one zero zero one zero two. It's something like this, I guess. Let me see. Zero one zero zero one zero two. Okay. Now I have to color this. So what I will do? I will come here. I will do nothing. I will come here. I saw it's one. Then I will iterate all the array which will be containing greater uh, value greater than zero. But here you can see it's only one a size of one. So here I can color either this or this. So what I will choose? I will choose this. I will color this, and I will contain a set or mark or anything you can make. I am just making this. So its index I will note down its index that I have colored zero. Okay. Again. Uh, so in one point I have colored this. Then I came here. I will do nothing. I will do nothing. Here again, I came. Now I have two choices: this or this. So here I will check if it is colored, then I will color this one. If it is not colored, then I will uh, color this one first. So I will check my set and I will find that no, it's not colored. So I will just note down zero, one, two, three, three. That three is. Uh, let me do indexing: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I will note down that three uh, has already been colored. Okay. And this will all also be colored. And again, I will come here. I will do nothing, and I will come here, and I will see. Oh, it's two, so I can color both sides. So uh, here, I will color only this portion, and I will leave another portion. Why? Because it's out of bound. So I will note down that fifth index is all also colored. Okay. Now what I have to do? I have to find the total number of coins I have paid. So every time. If a array comes, like if uh, any integer comes which is greater than one, then uh, we are uh, coloring some indexes which are containing zero, and uh, all the arrays which have values greater than one. So, if you see here, I paid one coin and I colored this and this. I paid one coin and I have colored this and this, and I have paid one coin and I have colored this and this. 
so what will be left all the zeros a uh, few zeros will left how will we find these all these are zeros which are colored because we are not counting one switch one or two which are colored we are just counting all the zeros which are colored so we will count the total zeros and we will subtract this portion so this will be total uncolored zeros which are left so that much coins we have to pay we have to color all those in single single coins so and or uh, for all others we will just add one means here for one 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 so it will be something like we iterated and we calculated coins there and also the uh, the total number of zeros total zeros minus size of set set size this will be our answer so it's very basic let uh, let directly jump to code and then you will understand more properly because it's code code is quite simple so here see i have made an integer coins and an integer zeros this zeros will be the total count of zeros in my array and this coins will be the total coins i have paid for every non zero colors so i will iterate from zero index to last index here you can see i have not increased it because uh, in every here i am uh, for every index which have value greater than 1 i am iterating all the values until i get again zero okay so it will co cover all the sub array elements which have values continuous sub array which have value greater than 1 okay so at final i will get uh, and start index which will be just before index and i will get one end index which will be just after the my after my sub array what does this means let's see focus here here it's start which is i minus 1 and end which is i okay so let me explain what does this means so let's it means that let's suppose i have one sub array something like this 0 1 1 0 sorry not 0 Increase its size to one to zero, something like this. So when I will come here, where uh, value is greater than zero, I will start iterating from here, and I will note down this i minus one. So it will be my start point. It will be my this one, which will be i minus one. And when I will end up here, it means uh, I will end up here because I will get zero. So end point will be my i. So i and i minus one will be two points this and this point okay so these two are uh, the indexes which we can color we have option if we got uh, if we do not got any twos here like if it's one then we have to choose either we will uh, uh, color start index or we have to color end index we can't color both so what and this is what i am doing here uh, after that if uh, i have maintained a max uh, max to integer which will contain the maximum in that array initially i initialized it with 1 and uh, if maximum comes to be 2 if it is 1 then it means that we have to choose from start or end okay so if start is valid it means that it is valid index and if it it has not been colored means in our mark uh, set which you can see here if in our mark set it is not available then we will color it and we will just get out from it otherwise if Uh, any of this condition do not satisfies then we will jump into this condition and here we will check check and again here if it will satisfy then we will color that otherwise we will skip this all also but if we get any two inside it like maximum is not equal to 1 if it is greater than 1 means it if it is 2 then we can color both side then in that case we will uh, just check if start is valid if it is valid we will uh, put it inside our mark is uh, mark array mark set and similarly uh, we will insert our end also and uh, every time uh, if like uh, we are not not doing anything then we will just do 0 plus plus it will just count all the zeros and this will just increase i by 1 and at final i have just uh, uh, printed the output as total number of coins which we have spent for every sub array which have value greater than 1 and all the uh, for all and all uh, the uh, coins for all zeros which uh, were left out after doing all these operation so i guess you understood uh, 
properly and you here you can see all the test cases are passing so that's it subscribe for more videos like this to dcc and it earth